Garnett Health Medical Center, putting your health and safety first. Get the care you need. Exceptional lives here. I'm Mike Spiel in the Garnett Health Weather Tower. Thank you so much, Mike. It's 809, 17 degrees. Beautiful blue skies. It's a sunny day so far. Enjoy today because tomorrow will be completely different. Anyway, good morning. My name is Kate Brannon. I have another guest with me on the phone is writer Lee Andrew Foreman who's here to talk about his latest book called The Berry Box. Good morning and welcome. How are you, Lee? I'm great. Good morning, Kate. How are you doing? Oh, I'm fine. I, I, I got to tell you, I, I was so happy that you sent me excerpts of your, your two books and, and your writing creeps up on you. It's only appropriate that you do thrillers. I, I see this. It, wow. <laughs> it makes the hairs oh, on the back you very of your much. neck stand up. Oh, it's so good. I like to hear that. That's, uh, that's what I go for. So. <laughs> so you have written so far two books. Is that right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I have uh, two full books published, and then I have a collection of short stories. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I've also got a lot of, um, I've got a few e-books out there, and I think I've published about 100 short pieces of fiction that aren't like, uh, they're just digital, like online stuff. Okay. No uh, physical edition, but uh, published a lot of work over the years. Yes, you have. You have been very busy. So it must be a thrill to have hardcover book with your name on the cover. That's that's wonderful. And you oh, have yeah. the most amazing cover art. I, I, oh, thank you. Yes. My cover designer, uh, Nina D'Archangela, she does such amazing work. Like zero zero perspective. The, the cover for zero perspective is just, oh, oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm sure she thanks you as well. Um, that, that cover took a lot of work. That was a lot of thought went into that one. A lot of terror went into it. Yeah. <laughs> and okay, I wanted, if it's okay, I wanted to read just a, a quick paragraph from your latest work, The Berry Box. Bury as in dig a hole and bury. Um, okay, this is just one short paragraph. His name echoed in his head, as if heard from far away. But it didn't sound like a voice. It didn't even sound like a sound. The words were more a vapor, a mist, a foggy image in his mind. It was Mom. Her smoky words swirled with concern. She seemed to be calling out to him, wishing him home. Ooh, you just picture all of the, all of the, the, the weird stuff that's going through this little boy's mind while his mom calls him from the distance. Where are you, Reggie? Where are you? That's such a, a building up of suspense that you created. I, I can't wait to find out what comes next. It will surprise you. <laughs> That book oh is very surprising. And, and you shouldn't read this book if you want to, like, fall asleep anytime soon, because your eyes will be wide open, awake, saying, he sh what? He did what? <laughs> Which is yeah, the whole point I mean, of a I horror recommend thriller. It's not for the light of heart. <laughs> and I had to choose carefully the excerpt to read on the air, because, you know, people are going about their morning stuff. I didn't really want anything really super scary this time of day. But that's exactly the point of this kind of writing. And I really, I can't wait to see what happens next. Now, the, your debut novel, Zero Perspective, uh, is a science fiction thriller. That one happens in space. Mm -hmm. Fun. Yes, I've, uh, I've always been a fan of both horror and science fiction. Um... So Funny why enough, not combine book. them? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sci uh, That was my first book. And that was a real thrill to write. That was fun because um, that was more of a psychological write. So I really had a lot of room to just go anywhere with that one. Well, in space, anything can happen. In horror, anything does happen. What a wonderful combination. Wow. I love it. Yeah. So now... If someone wants to pick up a copy of either of your books or your collection of short stories, where can they find them? Um, you can get them on Amazon. 
Uh, I also have a few books on barnesandnoble.com. And uh, if you're local in the area, there is uh, Broadleaf Books, which is a bookshop in Pine Bush, New York. And they carry my books there as well. Broadleaf Books in Pine Bush. Okay, they get a plug today for supporting a local writer. Thank you very much. Yeah, they're a great shop. They, they support uh, quite a few local writers. They have a little section for it. Nice little bookshop. Wonderful. I have to get to know them. I go to Pine Bush all the time. Now, you're from Middletown, right? And you grew up in this area. Yep. Born and raised in Middletown. That's wonderful. Local talent. That's exactly yeah. what we want to hear. And right? now, can you <laughs> tell me what you're working on next? Uh, right now, I'm working on uh, another novel. Um, this one is going to be titled The Waking House. Um, it's sort of another haunted house book, book, but it takes a different turn. Um, and this one is based on the Victorian tradition of uh, letting bodies uh, of family members wake uh, before burial because sometimes they would be mispronounced dead and huh? wake up after burial. So they would let them sit. Oh. Um, you know, in the funeral parlor for a few days to make sure they didn't wake up before they were buried. And is that where the term awake comes from? Yeah. I never knew that. Yep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I learned that, and that's what kind of gave me the idea for the book, and I just started building on that. And when do you think that one will be coming out? Um, hopefully next year. Okay. Yeah, with, any luck, with any luck, it'll be done by the end of this year, so... One book a year is actually pretty prolific. I, I, you're doing great work. It takes a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of work, but I'm, I love it. I am so glad to hear that. Okay, so let's remind people the titles of your work. Your debut novel was Zero Perspective. Your newest is The Berry Box. And that's that's the one that's got me creeped out. It's it's got kids showing up to play, except maybe they're not real kids. Um, and um, and now we have looked forward to the waking house next year or so. Thank you very much. Is there anything I've left out here? Um, Do you have a uh, website not that I can think of? Oh yes, um, you can find me at leandrewforman.com. Lee and Andrew also, Foreman, that's F-O-R-M-A-N dot com, yeah. okay? And you can also find me on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at the same, at Lee Andrew Foreman. Okay. Yeah, just uh, look up my name and you'll find me. <laughs> we expect to find great things from you. We expect to see you sitting next to Stephen King at a, at a, a thriller convention sometime, signing books I hope like so. crazy. <laughs> I hope so, That's too. Plan. I wish you utter success, and thank you for coming on the air with us today. Lee Andrew oh, Foreman. You. Find him, his books, yes, on Amazon, but find them in person. Support the local business, Broadleaf Books in Pine Bush. Thank you very much for being with us today on Wall Radio. Well, thank you, thank and you. you have a great one. Okay, I will. It's 8.17. I'll make that 8.18 on Wall Radio. 16 degrees. Shall we get back to the music? Yes, I think we shall. Peace of Billy Joel for you. Good morning. If it seems like I've been lost in a little-